Morning brothers and sisters. Um, I think today we're going to have a little chat about staying positive maybe. Hey, um, I've been trying to fight a little bit to stay positive and maybe losing the battle a little bit sometimes. Um, people like maybe Matthias might agree with me. I've been arguing with him a little bit. Um, only a little bit but basically um, I was feeling down and uh, I only spoke to a couple people this morning and two of the people I spoke to on where was it discord um, really gave a lot of insight into me being whiny about how I feel right now. Selfish, maybe, about how I feel right now. Um, we never really know, as Christians, when we're planting a seed, or in my case when I'm on here doing some video, I don't know. I just come on here and make some videos, right? I try to hopefully bring the gospel and some positive attitude and hopefully something good to somebody, hopefully. But I don't know, right? I, I just don't know. Well, <clears throat> I do know this morning a little bit that, I don't know, somewhere around the 15th or something, I made a video and it really helped somebody today, a sister that needed to hear it, I guess, today. I don't know what the video was about. I have no idea. I don't remember. I could go and look, right? But I mean, the point was that whatever it was that I said to her, she's like, "You need." I needed to hear that today. That was for me. That was, you know. And then someone else was saying to me this morning, um, I had said, no, I'm sorry. I've been away. I'm going to try to get back to here. And they were like, no. And I guess they thought maybe I was going to leave or something. They're like, Sister Shannon was always telling me how, how you've inspired her and at that point I have to get back to being humble again and being thankful to the Lord for the gift he gave me and I can't think of that word but our our rightful want our rightful desire to please the Lord is growing back in me again um, irregardless of how I feel inside see because some people well no Kev your feelings matter yeah well maybe my feelings are coming from the enemy and he's making me feel horrible on this stuff to get me away from being with Jesus why because maybe sometimes I make these little videos and this might touch somebody's heart in a way that helps them get back to the Lord again or something. Or maybe somebody hears me with my oversimplified gospel saying, if you trust that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, He's really the Son of God Almighty. And He died on the cross to pay our sin debt and was buried and raised again three days later as the scriptures in this Holy Bible foretold He would. If you believe that in your heart, and trust that it's true that Jesus paid your sin debt. Now that's it. You're done. You're saved. And if you trust him with your soul, you put your soul in your hands and you go, Jesus, I trust that you did everything on the cross. He did it all. He also drank the wrath in the garden. Jesus did it all. He paid the sin debt. It's done. It says it's paid, forgiven, and forgotten, it says. So Jesus did it. And when you trust him with your soul, you trust that Jesus on the cross that day, the Son of God, the only Son of God, when you trust on him, that's it, you're done, you're sealed, boom, till the day of redemption, guys. You put your trust in him, and he just fills you. I don't know how else to word it, he fills you with his love, his peace. A lot of people get a lot of joy. <clears throat> I say a lot of people because some of us, I weep a lot. I feel pain. I feel 
remorse and stuff for the world. I used to, I should say. This has changed a lot in the last little while since this accord got signed. But um, irregardless, this whole thing was about staying positive, right? Because I don't know. I don't know. What I say some days might upset some people. I get that. I do that. Sorry. Um, but what I say sometimes really means something to someone. And the reason is is because it's not me. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will get a message through a video like this. And it will be for that one person. It might not be for the other... <laughs> I don't have a lot of viewers. It might not be for the other five people. But if the one person gets a message out of one of my videos then any amount of time I spend here is worth it, right? Any sacrifice I have to make is worth it. Any loss I take is worth it. No matter what, it's worth it. One soul. One soul for Jesus. One's better than none. And good Lord willing, maybe it's more than one. And even if it's not, maybe it's this is the watering, right? Because I talk a lot on planting seeds with this simple gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. People, oh, you can't just say that and believe. Actually sit down, read 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 carefully, verse by verse, and what does each verse say to you? And then you come back and tell me that that isn't the gospel. Go ahead, we can chat. And this is open to you, Matthias, as well. I am very willing to bring my Bible and just me, and my Bible, and my whatever stick measure of faith, because I know the Holy Spirit is in me. I don't need any decisionism or theology or dispensationalism to know the truth that the Lord speaks through His Bible, through His Word. And it doesn't have to be done the way you do it. Just because you don't think someone's saved doesn't mean anything, brother. You are one in seven billion people. But, you said last night, well, you can leave. Well, yeah, I could. You see, but it isn't just that easy. Because as a child of the Lord, I have a responsibility to also try to show you the truth, Matthias even though you already think you know it. And if you have any intelligence, you should know that what I'm about to say is true. Someone who believes they're truly saved is one of the hardest people to save with the truth. All right, anyway, this is supposed to be about staying positive and not talking doctrine. But I want to also keep things positive over there too because there's people that, Matthias included, are mistaking what I'm saying. And it's really hard because like I'll be in the in the chat and I'll say one or two things. Well, I'll talk all through the chat and then the panel, somebody in the panel like CES, Talking Doctrine, same thing. They look over and they see one of my comments. And I've watched where he highlights my comments and just reads my comments, but only part of them. You missed the first hour. So then you're commenting on something I've talked to about someone else or with someone else. So it doesn't work that way, you know. Like you gotta either pay attention. I think I put on there kind of rudely last night. Either pay attention to what I'm saying or don't comment on what I'm saying. One of the two because you're screwing it up. Straight up, bro. Anyway, this is supposed to be positive attitude <laughs> video. Um, and so I'll try to keep it that and keep it short. So I did get the gospel in here, so that's good, because it's the true, simple gospel that if you believe it, if you believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, Romans 10.9, go read that one. It says, if you profess with your mouth and you believe it in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, and by saying Lord, that means you believe he's the Son of God. He's the Messiah. That's why in 1 Corinthians 15.1-4 it says, and Christ rose from the dead. Christ is the Messiah, the Savior. By using those words, if you believe that Jesus is the Christ, that's it, you're done, you're saved, that's it. He told the jailer, believe I am the Lord and you are saved, you and your household, 
And he said, I believe. Saved. Him and his household. It's like that. That's how hard it is. So anyway, guys, stay positive. Don't let anybody get you down. Just don't. Um, don't let the enemy get you down with bad thoughts, depression, um, sadness, loneliness, um, self-pity, anger, frustration, um, lack of patience. Start feeling those things like I have been feeling those things. Maybe take it to God. Did I take it all to God? No. No. Just because somebody's a good teacher sometimes on some things doesn't mean that they're a perfect person. I'm so far from perfect, you guys. That's why I don't come here condemning or judging people. Do I spout the truth and stand strong on it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do, because the simple gospel is what saves people. We plant seeds. Then through videos, fellowship, whatever, watering gets done. This is how it's done. If you plant a very, very hard to understand seed, nobody's going to get it. Anyway, guys, I love you all, and I hope this helps somebody. Have a great day in the Lord.